Now, this question is reasonably straightforward because we're actually given the substitution to solve the problem. We're told, OK, here's our original problem, dy dx equals y plus x all squared. That's our differential equation. And we're asked to, well, we're, we're told to use the substitution v equals y plus x. Now, with differential equations, a powerful technique is the substitution technique. And the idea is just like a lot of other substitutions in mathematics. You take something complicated, you make a substitution, and you reduce the problem down to something simpler. And this is a, a good example of that. Now, if you look at this problem, it's a first order problem. And usually, when we look at first order problems, we try to classify, classify the kind of differential equation we're looking at via the Shields rule, right? Separable, homogeneous, an integrating factor, exact, linear, direct integration, or substitution. OK? So for this one, we're going to use substitution. All right, so how do we do it? Well, given this substitution, what we'd like to do is to form a new differential equation involving v and x. So we're sort of transforming from a difficult ODE to a hopefully a simpler ODE. So what we'd like to do is calculate dy dx in, in terms of, uh, uh, of this, and then substitute this for v and substitute out the dy dx for something involving dv dx. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so if I differentiate both sides of this, remember y is a function of x here, so v will also be a function of x. So if I differentiate this, I'll get dy dx on the right hand side plus d dx of x, which is just 1. So if we substitute this into the right hand side of our differential equation and if we rearrange this and substitute in for or replace dy dx with dv dx minus 1 then my differential equation will hopefully simplify so let's call this um, star OK, so just if I re rearrange this, I'll get dy dx equals dv dx minus 1. So that'll be the left-hand side of star. And if I replace uh, y plus x with v, I get the following. Now, have I simplified the differential equation? Well, possibly. If I take the minus 1 to the other side in the bottom line, what kind of equation have I got? What kind of ODE in V? Well, I'll have a separable, a separable ODE in V. OK, this is a separable ODE. I can separate the variables. There's no x on the right-hand side explicitly, but it is separable. OK, so to solve a separable ODE, what we do is we separate the variables via multiplication or division, and then integrate both sides. OK, so essentially, I treat the, um, I'm going to separate the uh, dv and the dx, and I'll get something like the following. So the v squared plus 1 comes down here. The dx goes up to the right-hand side. And if I integrate both sides, on the left-hand side, I'll integrate with respect to v. On the right-hand side, I'll integrate with respect to x. So my objective now is to solve for v, and then from my original substitution, I can rearrange and get y. So if I know v, 
I can go back to my original substitution, I can back substitute and get y. So I've got two integrals to perform here. This is going to give me an inverse tan v. And over here, I'm just going to get x, say, plus a constant. OK, so if I rearrange this, just taking tan of both sides. All right, so we've solved for our function v, but what we really want is to get everything, we want to solve for y. OK, so what we would, would do is go, all right, well, if that's v, and y and v are related by this relationship here, then essentially y is v minus x. So, this then is our solution. Okay, so I just let me just stick something in there. C is a constant. Okay, so that was a relatively straightforward. Um, example because we were given the substitution. We were given that this substitution will help us solve the problem. Now that's not always done and a key um, piece of understanding with these substitution problems is how do I come up with a particular substitution rather than just being given it and working with it. Well that's, that, that's quite difficult. So does anyone know why this particular substitution was chosen? That's a pretty good question. It works. Anyone know why? Yeah, that's, that, that, that's a good place to start. This thing here is kind of like a power, power function, right? And what's in the brackets is the unknown function y plus some sort of linear term. Right? It's just 1 times x. Okay? Now, if you make that substitution of what's in the brackets and you differentiate, that 1x, when you differentiate it, is going to become a constant 1. So that's a pretty simple... Um, uh, well, essentially, this, is, you know, this 1x, when you differentiate this whole thing, is going to become 1. And what's here is going to become a power in V. Okay? So that, that should give you some, a little bit of insight into well, why, why was that particular substitution chosen? Well, the thing is, you're going to get a power function on the right-hand side in V, and on the left-hand side, you're going to get dv dx plus or minus a constant. 